So what I'd like you guys to do now is take a nice big deep breath. If you've got headphones, I'd suggest you put them on now. Nice big deep breath. Take a nice deep breath. Okay. Okay, and as you take your next deep breath, I want you to lean back and feel the support of the chair behind you. And as you feel that support, I want you to feel the weight of your body against the chair. I want you to feel the weight of your back leaning up against the support. I want you to feel the weight of your body pressing down on your butt and your legs into the chair. I want you to tune into the sensation of what it feels like to have your feet placed where they are. Are they crossed or on the floor? I want you to see if you can tune into your breath for a moment. Breathe nice and deep for me now. Tune into your body. Tune into the sensation of your breath, the sensation of your body as you start to relax and surrender. And with every breath you take, I want you to feel your body relaxing even deeper. And as you breathe in gratitude and love, and faith, I want you to breathe out anxiety, anger, frustration, resentment. So breathe deeply. And as you start to feel a lightness entering your body, as you start to observe tingling sensations firing around your body, See if you can tune into the part of your body that feels tense. Go to any muscle groups, go to any parts of your body where you feel tension or pain. Speak to that part of your body and give it permission to relax. If you notice a thought creeping into your mind, that's okay, just take a nice deep breath and allow the thought to pass out and through your mind just like it popped in. Think of your thoughts that are distracting you right now as small children who just need to be loved and nurtured on their way through. Don't fight the thoughts, accept them and come back to the body. Come back to the body, come back to the breath, come home to your body. And as you breathe in faith, love, gratitude, and as you breathe out frustration, anger, resentment, anxiety, I want you to feel yourself lighten and as you breathe in you start to notice that you're starting to float above the chair your body is floating above you and as you float up above your body right now you turn around and you look down and you look at yourself and you see a different version you see someone that you've never seen before you see a new version a more conscious version a more prepared version of yourself a confident version of yourself, a very sure sense of self. And as you take a breath, you rise up even further. And as you rise up further, you see the orb, that golden orb glowing in your chest around your heart, spinning like an orbit, spurling with energy, glowing and growing with every breath. And as you raise yourself up further, You can't help but see the glow that your entire body gives up. And with another breath, you breathe in deeply. And as you breathe in deeply, you fly through the air, through the roof, through whatever construction you're in right now, out on top of the air, on top of the building you're in, looking down, looking around. 
at the space around you? What do you see? Are you in the city? Are you in the country? Are you by the sea? You look around, you can't help but see for miles. And as you take another deep breath, you fly up even higher, faster now, through the air, through the atmosphere, flying like a bird, only faster. Faster now, faster, higher, higher, higher. You look around now behind you, but you keep moving forward, higher. And as you see where you've come from get smaller and smaller, you see the the country, the state get smaller and smaller, and you're on the er you're on the edge, on the urge of space, the biosphere. Now you feel your body surrender, the pull of gravity as you enter that feeling of space as you float up there effortlessly, freely now. No friction, no wind, no resistance, just quiet. And as you sit in that space, you feel a tug on your heart now, tugging you deeper, deeper into space. You're being pulled, pulled deeply into the galaxy, pulled deeply into space. And as you move along this trajectory and you start to look forward, you start to see you can see now into the future. You can see clearly now. And as you look forward into the future, you can see a whole timeline before you. And as you turn around, you see your life behind you that you've just lived. But as you look forward, you see your life playing out. You see your life coming together. You see your life taking shape. And as you feel that pull, it's pulling you forward now through the rest of today and into Monday. Monday through Tuesday to Wednesday. And as you start to move through the days and as you move through the next week, you start to see yourself deploying. You start to see yourself executing. You start to see yourself doing the things you said you'd do that you committed you'd do. You see yourself asking for support. You see yourself offering support. You see yourself being proactive and calm and safe and certain and providing a sense of surety for yourself, your family and your team. And as you move through that first week, you look back on that week with a sense of pride, a sense of integrity and dignity as you look back and you see how proud you are of how well you handled it. And you smile at that sense of self as you put your hand on that sense of self. One week from now, you look at yourself in the eye and you say, thank you. I knew you could do it. And as the tug now pulls you tighter, pulls you deeper, deeper into space, through the following days, the following weeks, the following months. We're now moving through the second week towards the third week and you're seeing your life unfold. You're seeing the new dynamics. You're seeing the new order, the new business coming through, the new pivot that's playing out, the new dynamics that are created, the new relationships that are being formed and the old ones that are now falling away. And with a sense of gratitude, and a humble heart, you say thank you to those that are now in your life and you give thanks to those that are leaving it for the service they provided and the purpose that they serve. And you see with absolute clarity and divinity that everyone coming in and coming out is by there by design to give you what's required until it's no longer needed. And then they are free, free to pursue their next mission, free to pursue their next purpose. As some of those people now move back into other dynamics and into other lives. You have new people coming in, new relationships, new support structures, new initiatives, new pivots. Have you moved through the third week to the fourth week? You see even more unfolding, even more connection, even more appreciation, even more love, even more gratitude for what is happening next. And as you see how it plays out and the new dynamics roll out and the new markets come together and the new strategies take place and you see yourself diving deeply now into the social space, producing content that feels right for you, videos, articles, eBooks, lives, groups now. You're doing all sorts of things that you never considered. Maybe you're even writing that book because it's the first time you've had time to stop in such a long time. What will you do if things slow down? Where will you place your attention if more time becomes available? What new things will you see that you never saw before? What new adventures might you take with new friends and new people that you've met? 
And as three weeks turns into four and four into five, and as you see your life coming together, as you see the things playing out, as things dissolve and new things form, as your manifestations come into reality, as you see things coming through, you can't help but be inspired. But you feel this sense of, this sense of, should I be sad with the level of change and transformation that's happening in the world? There appears to be so much going on. Sometimes it feels too much, but then you sit back in awe and you realize when you look that everything, everything that you're seeing unfold right now is in perfect order. There is a perfect harmony. There is a perfect balance and you can see it. And so you don't resist it. You embrace, you embrace it. You hold it dearly. And as you move from five to six to seven to eight weeks, now nine weeks and your life is unfolding in front of you in new and beautiful ways, more deeply rich, connected ways. You look at the new, you say goodbye to the old. You say, thank you for what you've seen. And you give thanks for what has been given. And as nine weeks turn into 10, now 11 and 12, and you come to the end of this quarter and you look back with a sigh of relief and you ask yourself this question, wow, shit, did that really just happen? Felt like a movie. Fuck, I was the main star. I kind of feel like a bit of an action hero now. And as you look back over the last three months with confidence, with strength, with certainty, you feel empowered as you look back and you see what you've created. You see the strength that you've shared, the prosperity that you've fostered for yourself, for your family and those that you care about. You have a sense of pride, humble pride, humble gratitude for the thanks, for the lessons, for the strength, for the person you've become for the history you have now made, for the place in history that you have now taken as one of the leaders that is now coming forward to step up and show how it can be done. You are now a part of a new generation, the next generation that will change the way the future generations not only parent, but do business and create lives and communities and navigate and connect and communicate with kindness and love. And as you reflect on this creation that is yours, your movie, your divine creation, you feel a pull now pulling you back, back in time, back through space, in reverse order, 12 weeks to 11, 11 to 10 to nine. And as you move back, you see the integrations taking place. As you move back, you see the reintegration, the new orders falling into place. As you move back, you see the things changing that needed to change. You see them clearly the second times, the new things you didn't see the first time. As nine weeks move into eight to seven to six, you see things that you didn't see before, new creations, new connections, new manifestations, new strength, new courage new leadership, not just from you, but from your team, from your family, from your community. You see the ripple effect that you're having. You're seeing the addictive nature of your presence. You're seeing the influence that you're having on those around you as they step up into you and with you and align with you as you merge and collaborate together. And as five turns into four, four into three, three to one, you now sit in a position in space above this planet and you are looking into the future that you've now seen twice with this sense of awe, with this sense of safety and knowing that everything is going to be not just okay, everything is going to be great. You know that there's work to be done. You know that it's not going to be easy. You realize the challenges that now lay before you, but you also realize the strength that you possess is far greater than any challenge that will be laid before you. You are a leader and you stand there with pride as you look out at the future. 
holding dearly the transformations that you are now a part of, that you have now created. You see the pebbles, the stones, the rocks, the boulders you have thrown, and you're witnessing now in its full entirety the ripple effects that you're having on those around you. And as you sit there with the sense of knowing, you now integrate all those lessons from the future into your current self. You now reverse the integration of the lessons you've experienced now, back down your timeline, back down the last 12 months, the last two years, the last three years. And you start integrating all the lessons that you've learned in the last four days, in the last four years. All the lessons you've learned, you now take back through time. You now integrate all the way through to your childhood. You now allow yourself to the perspective. You now allow the lessons that are required to integrate all those traumas, to integrate all those lessons and allow the perfection to be seen. And as your life now integrates in its entirety, you feel this sense of whole, this sense of completion that was always there. But you're now aware. And as you come back into yourself, you start to float. As you float down towards the earth with this sense of calm, with this sense of peace and this sense of knowing, you fall like a feather, not fast and furious, softly. Gently, but quickly, no friction now. You notice on re-entry that you're moving quickly, but there's no friction. There's no resistance. You've surrendered the resistance. You've surrendered the friction. You've surrendered to the moment to allow yourself to free fall effortlessly through the sky towards the place in which you inhabit on this earth right now. And as you come down and hover, through the sky and you see your country, you see your state, you see your suburb, you see your house or the place in which you live coming to you. And as you move through the roof, into the place, into the space above you, you look down around you and you see this glowing orb, bigger, brighter, shinier than you've ever seen before, pulsating around you, pulsating and rippling and creating ripples. Ripples of influence, ripples of energies, ripples of kindness, ripples of love, ripples of calm. And as you look at yourself so whole, and as you see yourself so confident and so certain, you embrace these new integrations, you embrace these new perspectives, you embrace these into your physical form. You see the downloads happening. You see the heart glowing and opening as you move into your body, as you now transition back into your physical form. The full integration now takes place. The full integration of all the lessons that you've just learned from the future and the full integrations of all the lessons you've now taken back down through time to your sense of birth. You now feel your body you now feel your birthright. And as you step into this vessel, that you are now the commander, the chief, the captain of, you have a new inspired sense of purpose. You have a new inspired sense of mission. And you now see clearly the legacy that lies before you and the part of history that you're creating and the moments that matter. And as you breathe deeply now, breathe life into your lungs, life into your heart, place your heart on your chest. Allow your heart to expand, allow it to fill, allow it to be fulfilled. Feel the fulfillment in your heart. Feel the fulfillment in your soul and allow that fulfillment to flood your purpose and your mission. It is done. It is done. Now is your time to remember who you are. where you came from. And 
where you're going next. And as you come back into the room, when you feel ready, I want you to open your eyes and I want you to write the vision of what you've just seen. And I want you to write it with the sense of, I am so grateful for your creation with the finisher, it is done. I want you to think about the different areas of your life now, your mindset, your intuition, your finance, your spiritual, family, work, personal, social. What did you see? You are gonna be writing a letter to yourself that you'll be reading three months from now. Write this letter out. 